Again, folks, this is Justin Franks with 360 Tactical Training here with today's training tip. I'm here with my fellow instructor, Lissandra Roman. Today we're going to be talking to you guys a little bit about grip. Now, although grip seems like a simple concept, it has a dramatic role in your recoil management, which directly affects your accuracy and your rate of fire. Okay guys, so what we're going to do now is we are going to compare the T-Cup method versus 360 Tactical Training's method for grip. Let's start with the T-Cup method first. As you notice, his support hand is right underneath the grip. Now this is not the best place for the support hand for the reason that you are leaving the entire left side of the gun unaccounted for. The natural tendency will be the gun will recoil up and to the left if you have this grip because the gun will recoil in the path of least resistance. Another reason why this is not preferred is because you can't get your hand in and on that gun, which is great for controlling that muzzle flip. You will get more recoil with this T-cup method grip. The last thing I want to talk about is if you have this grip, there's a good chance that your grip might actually come apart during your string of fire. Okay, now let's talk about 360 tactile training's preferred method for grip. As you notice, with his right hand, he's got the webbing of his hand nice and high on the tang of the gun. There's no space in between the webbing of his hand and the tang of the firearm. His finger is straightened off the trigger until he's ready to fire, and his firing hand thumb is up. The reason you want to keep that thumb up is in the event you have to shoot one-handed, keeping the thumb up will support your muzzle during your string of fire. The other reason you're keeping that thumb up is because you are leaving room for your support hand to get in on the gun. So what Lissandra is going to do is he's going to put the meaty part of his hand nice and high on the grip of that gun with his thumb traveling straight down the muzzle of the barrel, nice and parallel to the barrel. All four fingers are wrapping around the grip. He's got a nice tight grip and they're right underneath the trigger guard. He's got a nice strong grip on that gun. That's really, really going to help out when we start controlling that muzzle flip. Let's see how these two work. Guys, so what we're going to demonstrate first is that T-cup method. I want you to pay close attention to Lissandro's muzzle of his gun, listen for his rate of fire, and also take a note of where his rounds are impacting. Lissandro is going to shoot as fast as he can while maintaining combat accurate hits with the T-cup method grip. So five rounds on the command of up. You ready? Stand by. Up. Guys, what we're going to demonstrate now is 360 Tactical Training's preferred grip. Lissandro has increased tension on that gun. He does not have a death grip on the gun, but he's got a nice firm grip. His support hand is much higher on the gun, therefore increasing the surface area of his hands that are actually on the gun. Again, pay attention to the muzzle of that gun, listen to that rate of fire, and look for the grouping of the rounds. Okay, Lissandro is going to shoot again as fast as he can with this grip while trying to maintain combat accurate hits. Five rounds on the command of up. Are you ready? Ready. Stand by. So as you can see, a proper grip plays a vital role in increasing your overall effectiveness. I'm Justin Franks. This is Lissandro Roman with 360 Tactical Training. Thanks for joining us for today's training tip, and we'll see you next time.